welcome to Henry's L Tutoring and today a quick video of how to install Linux and just how easy it can be. In fact, my daughter Alina is going to help us do the installation. All right, Alina, here you go. First, we'll have to put this USB stick into the computer. Very important. What's next? Now you have to turn on the computer. Mm -hmm. So what's after that? We have to press F12 to get us to the boot menu. All right. So turn that guy on. Let's see what we can do. The next step is to find the USB storage device. So here it is, and let's press that. Okay, Lena, what's next? For the next step is to press install Ubuntu. Awesome. This will start the installation process. And the first thing it's going to ask is what keyboard layout you want based on your language. What do you want to do here, Lena? Press English US because I speak English. <laughs> That's right. All right. Continue. Okay, now it's asking about updates and other software. Here we can keep things default. We don't have to choose anything fancy. So, Lena, would you do the honors, please? Continue. All right, now what's it asking us, Lena? Installation type. So, I'm going to choose Erase Ubuntu and Reinstall. That sounds good. So, there's lots of options here. If you have an existing operating system, by default, Ubuntu will recognize this and it will install itself alongside of it. So if you already have an installation of Windows, you can choose to install Ubuntu and you'll be able to choose either one when your computer turns on. That way you can use Windows for certain programs or, or you can use Linux for other ones. And we've chosen to erase the existing installation of Ubuntu and to reinstall it. Press install now. Okay, a little final warning. It's telling you it's going to destroy all data on any partitions you have. And so it's just making sure you're okay with that and you know what's going to happen. So if you're doing this on the computer with information that matters, then make sure you are aware of what's there and back it up first. Otherwise, you will lose it. So let's, go, let's keep going. So we're okay with it, so press continue. What's asking us where are you? It'll be able to tell where you are based on your internet connection. It will look at your IP address and say, hey, that belongs in this area of the world, and it can detect then where to put your time zone setting. So press continue. This has all been pretty easy so far. Okay, here's the first thing where we have to actually type something in. So, Lena, what do you want to name your computer? Jeff. Oh boy, that's exciting. All right, so you just got to type that in there then. And so by simply p specifying your name, it will populate not only that name, but your computer's name and the default username it wants to set up for you. After this, you just need to put in your password twice to make sure it's uh, not something you will forget. We're obviously choosing a very easy password for this one, which is okay. It's just a test. And then after that... Continue. Perfect. And that's it. Now it's going to start to copy its files, and everything should be well in just a matter of minutes. All right, so everything's installing right now in the background here. Alina, what are some things you're going to do with the computer once it's all ready? I'm going to use LibreOffice. So I'm going to make some presentations on it, some documents, some maybe stories. Ooh, stories. I like this. Are you going to do anything else creative with it? Maybe some... I'm going to um, listen to music. Oh, all right, all right. What about maybe making some pictures? Is there anything you're going to do with there? I'm going to add um, a painting station. Ooh. So, yes, there's lots of graphics art programs you can install with Linux that are free. So, 
I believe we tried one already so far, so Alina will probably try it again. I can't recall the name, but there's another one that's called GIMP, which is very useful. I use it to make all the images for these videos thumbnails. And what's one more thing you're going to do with, with your computer, Alina? I'm going to play video games! <laughs> of course. Alright, so we'll be back in a bit once this is all installed. Alright guys, so we're back. We've got the computer installation just about complete. What's the next step we have to do here, Alina? So it says the installation is complete and we have to press restart now. Alright, so you want to do that for us? Ooh, there we go. And now it's going to ask one more thing. Please remove the installation medium. Then press enter. So, remove the USB stick. Press enter. Perfect, and it'll now restart. Okay, now it's going to boot up and you should see a Ubuntu logo, as well as eventually a prompt asking you to log in. It'll have your username there for you. You just have to click on it. You please do that. And then put in your password. All right, so now you have your version of Lance running. There's a few things you have to like go through here. They're very simple. The first one's asking about online accounts. We can probably just skip this right now, but you can add your Google account or your Microsoft account here if you like. But the next option here is live patching, which you can either turn on or off if you like. It's just going to update the system for you automatically if it's turned on. Otherwise, it'll prompt you and say, hey, there's updates. Do you want to install them now? So let's skip that for now. Now it's asking if we want to improve Ubuntu. I do not right now. <laughs> so we won't send them any information from this installation. Press next. Mm -hmm. Next is privacy. You can either turn this on if you want to or not, but basically it's going to show applications that are running where your computer is located physically. So again, it's going to use IP-based geolocation data to say, hey, you're in Toronto. This is mean that you can enable if you want, or you can leave it turned off, which is the default. And that's it. You're ready to go. Now you can choose any software you want to install and start using the computer. So, Lena, can you show us how to install something, please? Sure. So, first you go to this. That's right. Press this button. Okay, so let's see. What can we install here, Lena? So, we could install... Science stuff, art and designs, music and audio, <laughs> games, etc. All right, what's the first thing you're going to install? I really want to install some games first. Ooh, okay, Alina, let's, let's do it. Okay, so sometimes when you open a category, it's blank. All you should have to do in this case is just go back, give it a moment, and load it up again, and there should be information there for you. Tried it again ah. and it worked. <laughs> there we go. So you're gonna find a game here? Yeah. Ooh. There's Minecraft. There's a popular one. Okay, so this is basically it. At this point you can install software and start messing around with the computer. If you have any questions or if you have any feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you liked this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and click that little bell so you can see future content from this channel. All the best. Take care, guys.